Sullivan, I'm a former IRS agent and teaching instructor with the Internal Revenue Service. Welcome to my YouTube station. I have a bunch of followers. I never thought I would. I worked for IRS for 10 years. Uh, I've been in private practice for four decades. I've been doing this for 50 years. Doing I look good. Anyway, I started this YouTube a long time ago and my son encouraged me to start a YouTube station. He said that, Dad, he says, um, you know, I know you know a lot more because you've been doing this a long time. So why don't you go ahead and uh, why don't you go ahead and start a YouTube station and see what you what happens. And anyway, I got a whole bunch of subscribers, and I never expected this. And the three reasons I do this is to educate you. Well, you get business from it. Please, let's not make any mistake about that. But um, it's to educate you. It's to give you insider information and to make sure you don't get scammed or ripped off. And there's a lot of people in this industry that got suits and a nice background, and to be honest, they're full of crap. Um, I should know, uh, I've done this a long, long time, and I can tell you within the first 10, minute, 10 seconds of looking at a video who's real and who's not. I like to break this down in easy terms for you so you understand concepts and plans and how to just really make a good informative decision. I have a whole bunch of former IRS, ex-IRS agents on staff, what, depending on the word. So we handle anything from IRS, simple notice or letter, going to audit, liens, levies, tax court, all, all that stuff. But today, I want to give you just an overview of the offer and compromise. So you kind of understand the, the general playing field of the IRS and what the, what the IRS looks at for the offer and compromise. I'm not gonna get very specific. I just wanna give you a 30,000 foot view of the offer and compromise. I, I worked this program in IRS. I taught the program at IRS. Uh, I've accepted offers, denied offers as a teaching instructor for the offer. Just know this, IRS is only looking at two things on that form, your income, expenses, and the value of your assets. That's all IRS really cares about, really, when you get down to it. What is the value of your assets? If you have $100,000 worth of assets, IRS isn't gonna settle for any less than 100,000 unless in fact that they discount your home by 20%. But if you have 150,000 and you owe 100, they're not gonna settle, stop it. Don't give your money to anybody. People rip you off, tell you all this. The other thing they wanna know is they wanna look at your income. They want to know uh, how much you make, and then they're going to say, well, we have standards that we're going to have to apply to your income. You don't get the expenses you want. You're going to get the expenses we're going to give them to you. They're going to give you four key expenses, food and clothing, uh, housing and utilities, car operation cost, and how much you can go ahead and, and have for a car payment. Everything else, it's dollar for dollar. So just understand the overall plan. IRS does want to, sorry about the stream, it's messed up. IRS does want to settle your case, but you just got to meet those two big criteria. Make sure your expenses are within the national standard. I've got a bunch of videos on the national standard. And just make sure your assets, your assets um, uh, don't exceed the tax liability. That's it. That's the big aha about the offer and compromise. How long does the average offer take a year? Um, God, the stream is really bad. They spent about 20 hours uh, researching an offer and compromise. You're not going to pull anything over with them. They can pull your credit card information. They'll use Zillow, Realer.com. They'll get all these valuations. So make sure your offer and compromise is square. If you got a simple case, do it yourself. If you owe a lot of money, you better call someone like us or some other experts to do your offer. You got a best, a better, better, better shot of um, making sure you get your offer through. It's not like a sales pitch. The offer and compromise is really surgical. It's about timing. It's about what to put on the offer and always put a cover letter on it. Cover letter is a really big thing. Anyway, you have any questions, uh, hit me up. If this information was good, if you'd give me a subscription, I'd really appreciate it. You're welcome to leave comments. You can find me in the description section below. Thank you very much.